Welcome back, West Texas. I'm here now with that full forecast. Starting you off with these current temperatures, we're starting to cool down a bit. We had a very hot day. We got into the mid 90s, like I showed you just a little bit ago. 81 degrees here in San Angelo, down to 79 here in Abilene. A couple places are finally dropping down into those 70 degree marks. 78 degrees right next to it in Baird and Eastland, down to 77 over here in Mason. But as we continue later into tonight, we are going to see everyone's lows drop. We're going to have another comfortable night in the upper 60s, 68 degrees possible here in San Angelo. Same over here in Abilene. I'm seeing a couple places at 66 degrees like over here in Big Spring and Snyder as well as on the other side Eastland and Breckenridge but Comanche over here at 69 degrees. That is the highest uh, temperature that I'm going to be seeing for our lows tonight. Now as we continue over these next couple of days we're going to be decreasing in temperature so we're going to lose a lot of the heat that we've been seeing throughout the work week. Friday going to be our first day that we finally drop out of the 90s. Hopefully that is we'll be right at 89 degrees and we'll continue to decrease in temperature. We're going to see an increase in weather activity as we get through the weekend, and that's going to correspond with these decreasing temperatures along as with this cold front as well. Now, Friday, of course, like I said, is going to be the calmest day that we'll see, but we're still going to see some very gusty winds as this low pressure system approaches over the weekend. Wind gusts themselves getting over 40 miles per hour in both the Concho Valley and the big country. Sustained winds themselves getting up to 30 miles per hour. So it's going to be a very, very breezy day. Make sure you hold on to your hats if you're wearing them anything like that. But as we continue into the weekend, that's when we're going to see this storm possibility come through. It's generally looking like a marginal chance for most of our area and then a few edges on the eastern and western half that are just under the general thunderstorms. For those of you in that marginal risk area, we're going to be looking at the usuals. It's going to be um, wind gusts like we just saw up to 40, maybe even 50 plus miles per hour and the possibility of some large, maybe even ping pong sized hail. Now, as we continue through that, of course, we have some decent rain chances for the first time in a while. We talked a lot about the horrible drought that we're seeing right now, extreme to exceptional, and these rain chances could give us an opportunity to come out of that a little bit. Some places may be seeing up to two, possibly even three inches in this area between McCulloch and Coleman counties, but generally in this yellow, we're looking at up to two inches, this mid green one and a half. So no matter where you are, even if you're out here on this outside range, getting towards Midland, even in the Snyder and Big Spring areas, a little something is definitely better than nothing. So what is this system going to look like? Well, we've got a lot of these winds coming in from the Gulf that's bringing this moist air and we've got our dry air from the mountains on the other side of this dry line here. So as that works its way through, we're going to see some rain chances briefly as we get into Saturday night. You can see this developing here as the cold front and dry line meet here in Oklahoma. Well, the same thing's going to happen as that cold front travels towards us here in West Texas. And once they do, we're going to have that uplift that we need to make these storms start to materialize and it's going to be overtaking our entire area during Sunday morning and that system's going to keep moving through Sunday. The thing is, we could be seeing this system for a very long time. Rain chances are continuing all the way until Tuesday morning. So we're going to get through your Monday and Monday night, but it is going to be scattered. It's not going to be fully consistent. We'll see some scattered showers with the isolated or occasional thunderstorm as well. And again, our temperatures will drop with that. So we'll get a lot cooler, way below average as we get into the beginning of next week. But at least we are going to see some rain with it. Totals again looking up to two inches.